Hey guys, Trevor with Shadow Systems. It's Technical Tuesday. We're out at the range today. It's a little bit windy. I'm sorry about that. I hope you can hear us. We're going to talk a little bit more about the backstrap system. Okay, so you heard us talk about it before. This is the natural point of aim system. This is the backstrap system on a Shadow Systems pistol that actually changes where the gun points. Okay, it changes the elevation of the bore. So we don't talk about small, medium, and large. We talk about bore orientation and natural point of aim. So it comes with three backstraps, okay? The backstraps are called high, neutral, and low. High meaning it's got a high bore orientation, neutral meaning it's fairly neutral, and low meaning it's, it's very flat on the back like a 1911 might be, okay? So the idea is you change the backstrap to change your natural point of aim, to make the gun point naturally even if you don't see the sights, right? That's the concept. Well, we go through the exercise of how to select one of those in the manual. We've talked about it before. Basically in a static environment, at home, without, without any ammunition in the room or on your person, you pick something across the room. Let's say it's a light switch or something. You put the back strap on that you're gonna test. In this case, it's a neutral one. And then you just close your eyes and orient the gun at the target. And you look and see, is the muzzle oriented a little up? Is it right on? Is my front sight dipped low, okay? Do that a few times, do that a few times, and you'll eventually find the back strap that most naturally changes the elevation of the gun, because that's what we're changing. We're changing the elevation, right? All right, so that's a great drill to do at home that's static to find your back strap. You swap them in, swap them in and out until you, you find one you like. But when you actually go to the range, you can verify your selection, all right? Because just because I'm oriented like this when I'm static, doesn't mean that between shots, the gun is recovering there too. Maybe one between shots, the gun recovers a little high, or something like that. So you can experiment a little bit at the range. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I've got a neutral back strap right now. And by the way, just real quick on the back straps, they are marked. So on the back of the back strap, on the inside of it, there's a little letter, L for low, H for high, N for neutral. I've got the little Shadow Systems backstrap tool as well that comes with the gun. Hey, quick point, that's the pin you take out, not that one. We have a lot of people push this pin out and then all hell breaks loose, so don't do that. All right, so here we go. Neutral backstrap, eight rounds in the gun. I'm gonna shoot two rounds slow, and I'm just gonna fire the round and see where the sights recover to. Fire the round, see where the sights recover to. Then I'm gonna shoot six shots fast and just kind of see where I end up on the target and how my sight is tracking, all right? So here's my first two slow shots. All right, I recovered a little high. I still feel like I recovered a little high. All right, now let's shoot six. All right, so still a pretty well-centered group, but I did notice on those first two rounds that the gun was actually oriented a little bit high after the shot. So. Why don't I grab my backstrap tool? Again, I'm pushing out this back, this uh, pin, remove it from the other side. When you take the backstrap off the first time, it's gonna have the plug in there, okay? So just set that aside, because you don't need that for your test. And because the gun was shooting high and recovering high, I'm gonna try the low backstrap to try to depress the muzzle down a little bit. So I get my pin started. You can use the back of your tool to push it in kind of center it up a little bit, and then grab your next mag. Okay, so now the gun is gonna orient down a little more. So I'm gonna shoot my first two rounds and see what I see. It did seem to recover back to the target better. Still a little high, but not as high as the last one was. Now I got six rounds. A little trigger freeze there, but other than that, I was able to stay, again, pretty well centered, okay? You know, if, if it wasn't on camera, I would shoot it again until I felt comfortable, all right? Just for grins, let's put the high on. So I'm gonna, again, push the pin out from the side and set it off to the side, and now I'm gonna grab the one marked H for high. So this should orient the gun muzzle really high for me. And of course, I've lost my pin, but, oh, there it is. This should orient the muzzle really high for me. Let's see what we get. All right. So, two rounds slow to see where I'm recovering. A little high, not as bad as I expected. Still a little high, and then now six rounds. All right, so you 
saw a couple of them flew over the top of the target. Okay, so that's probably an indication that I was resetting and breaking the shot high. Now, when you're shooting a six shot drill, those are flash sight pictures. The purpose of this is not to aim every shot, because if you stop and adjust your angle and aim every shot, you're gonna get your hit. The purpose is to try to balance between, you know, instinct and sights. And so by selecting the right back strap, you hopefully end up with a more instinctive shot and a more uh, instinctive recovery, okay? So that's the process for the back straps. Again, when you're done and you've selected the one that you want, you'll wanna push that pin out a little bit and grab your plug and put the plug in. Or if you're running a magazine well, you can install the magazine well and center your pin. And that is how you select a Shadow Systems back strap and then verify it with some rapid fire shooting at the range. Hope that was helpful and we'll see you next week.